for, for moms or dads who are trying to get pregnant, is there anything you can recommend to help improve the quality of the sperm and the egg health? Okay, so when it comes to egg health, there are different factors that affect mm -hmm. egg health, right? Mm -hmm. So I kind of narrow it down to three things. One is decreased androgen production. So androgens are male hormones. Mm -hmm. And starting at the age of 25 to, to 45, 50% uh, of our androgens decrease, okay. right? Eggs need androgens, such as testosterone and DHEA, to be healthy, mm -hmm. okay? So that's one thing that affects egg health. Another is um, oxidative stress. So if you've ever heard of reactive oxygen species or things that, for example, whenever you're grilling, right? So you're grilling meat, you're grilling vegetables, and you get that black char. The char, how so bad that, is that the, affects okay. your DNA, that affects, it causes your body to like rust on the inside, right? Okay. And then the third thing um, would be mitochondrial damage. Okay. So if you remember back in biology class, we talked about mitochondria. Right. So that's the powerhouse of your cells. Well, our oocytes or our eggs have the most amount of mitochondria out of any other cell in the body, even okay. your heart cells, anything. So they depend on that energy, okay, of the mitochondria. Right. So for the androgen production, the best thing to do would be um, to give DHEA. Okay. Okay, which is the hormone, which is the precursor to testosterone. Uh -huh. um, a lot of women, if you have PCOS, you don't necessarily need this because you already have enough of that. Okay. okay? Um, but it does help with egg health in general. And then um, with the oxidative stress, a lot mm. of good antioxidants, right? So green tea extract or ECGC, um, melatonin, mm -hmm. is, which is you know our sleep hormone, but it really helps with, um, it's, a, it's a high antioxidant. Mm -hmm. So that really helps. Um, there are studies that you need to be careful when you're trying naturally to get pregnant, to be careful with melatonin. So I always say, maybe use it for three to four months and then when you're actively trying to conceive. Stop using yeah, it. Yeah, stop using it. Okay. But it's really good for IVF, so I'd be you okay. know, good to do that for IVF. Yeah. And then when it comes to mitochondrial damage, um, things that are really good for mitochondria are coenzyme Q10, which I'm sure a lot of people oh, have yeah. heard of by now. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and, and that's for good for mom and dad, yeah, right? For both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of these are good for mom and dad, really. Resveratrol, all of these kind of glutathione, all of these antioxidants are really good. So, okay. Yeah. So uh, when a mom is in preconception and she's knowing that she wants to start trying soon, should she start taking these or should she reach out to a functional practitioner or someone to get some guidance on where she is lab-wise? It's not going to hurt to take a few of these things on your own. Okay. Um, I mean, there is a book that I really do like that uh -huh. I feel like most women should read. It's called um, It Starts With the Egg. Oh, yes, you guys, check that out. Yeah. I want to check it out now. Yeah, yeah, so that's a great <laughs> book to read. Um, but if you can go see a practitioner, of course, I, I think it's a good idea so you can test to see really what does your body really need, Yeah. right? And, um, yeah, so I would say if you're hoping to get pregnant in the future, I would say start working on yourself okay. about four months ahead of time. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then for dad, what can dad do? So dads, um, you know, sperm can have different issues, right? So mm -hmm. poor morphology, which means you might, the sperm might have two heads. Well, it's not going to be able to penetrate to get to the egg, right? Okay. Um, or poor motility. So they're swimming very slowly and they're not going to make it to the egg. Mm -hmm. um, or poor count. So just not enough sperm are going to be able to, you know, help you get pregnant. So there are um, different things. You're going to hear me say glutathione a lot. So I yes. just love glutathione. It's the body's major antioxidant, um, but it's really good for sperm health or NAC, which okay. is yes. N-acetylcysteine, which is the precursor to glutathione. Mm -hmm. So those help. Um, even L-carnitine. L-carnitine is really good for motility. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, a lot of the a lot of it's similar between the females and males. So mm -hmm. um, alpha lipoic acid, all of those things help as well. And then we also want to look at lifestyle. So you know, managing stress, right? Because mm -hmm. stress can have such a big factor. Just And you want to optimize your ability to conceive and managing stress is huge. Mm -hmm. And then exercising, even if it's just going on a daily walk. Mm -hmm. Anything else you can recommend? Definitely getting good sleep. Yes, getting good sleep. You know, obviously eating, uh, smoking, trying to avoid oh, yeah. smoking, even drinking alcohol. Um, recreational drugs like marijuana, all of those things will decrease motility. Mm -hmm. um, 
and things like that. Um, heat, so try not to, oh, yeah. you know, get in the sauna or take a, a hot tub or, you know, get in the hot tub. Mm -hmm. You can even put, the men can even put like an ice pack down there because they sperm like cold. They don't like oh, heat. So it kills them off, you know. Yes. Um, riding a bicycle, <laughs> those kind of things can kind of affect the sperm count. Yeah. So you guys, if you're considering, you know, trying it for a baby soon, just always know that there's resources you can, you know, get and access. And then through Unique Footprints, you can always come back. We have lots of great blogs with free content for you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.